Our guest today is Dr. Martin Struber. He's a cardiac surgeon at the Leipzig Heart Center. Dr. Struber, welcome to the program. The man in that last report had a temporary artificial device. What about a permanent or long-term artificial heart? Is that on the horizon? Well, first of all, um, this device um, the man had implanted was intended as a bridge to transplant. But since the numbers of implants are much higher than the numbers of transplants, many, many of these people have to live with these devices for years. The other concept you showed is a so-called total artificial heart. That is a very complex machine replacing the entire heart. And we have to see in the future if it is uh, working uh, without any problems for many years to become a uh, real artificial um, uh, heart. How long have doctors been working towards this goal? Many, many years. So it was practically put in motion in the 60s, right after the first heart transplantation or the moon landing. A few weeks later, there was the first total artificial heart implant. And since then, um, the development went on and we have the breakthrough about 10 years ago when this heart uh, assist devices with a simple rotor, rotary blood pumps become available because these machines were the only ones we have that uh, can help the patients for many years. You brought some pictures with you to show us more concretely what we're speaking about. Yes. Let's take a look yes. at this. You can see on the left hand side, uh, this is the device we had at, at 14 years ago, 2000. And then in the center are the current devices, much smaller and rotary blood pumps. And on the right hand side, a very small device that may become available in the near future. So you can see on the left hand side, this device was about 1.5 kilograms. And on the right hand side, the device are just 80 grams. So the development goes into a miniaturization of these devices. Now you say doctors have been working on this for a very long time, about half a century in fact. Why is it taking so long? What are the challenges that doctors face? The challenges is more on the engineering side, that we need a pump that is mechanically stable and not wearing out and working for many years without mechanical problems. And I think this is uh, the breakthrough that was achieved 10 years ago. Tell us a little bit about miniaturization. How is that going to shape the future? Uh, you saw, saw already that the implant technique will become much less invasive. And um, for the near future, there would also be even less invasive techniques of implanting these very small devices into the heart to help the heart work. So it's a heart assist device and not a heart replacement therapy. Now, when I was doing some research before the show, I read that if you have an artificial heart, you don't have a pulse. Is that true? What is true with the rotary blood pumps? Uh, because they pump the blood uh, in a constant way. And uh, people only have a pulse when the native heart is helping. And for example, if the people sit at rest, they will not have a pulse. If they start walking and the heart contributes, then the pulse will come back. It's a fascinating topic. Dr. Stuber, thank you so much for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. All right, thank you.